All right, y'all, we on our way up to the mountains to do some shooting. Um, today uh, is December 25th, 2022, almost into the year of uh, 2023. But uh, today we just going out to shoot the shotgun. We hoping to find our little favorite spot if it ain't taken. Um, but the roads are ain't too bad. Uh, we might be able to get up here to our little spot that we like to go to. Um, stay tuned. All right, y'all, my boy up here walking through to make sure the road is is uh, clear for me to drive through. And then uh, it's a little spot up here where people be shooting uh, up here. I'm just documenting our little journey. Because, uh, you know, to us, this is fun, man. You know, um, when it ain't something to do, uh, when it's nothing to do, um, on the weekends, you know, we just go out and go shoot and we find different little spots. This is a spot actually we never been to before, but, um, I mean, what better place than to come out here? We looked on the department of, uh, wildlife and fish, uh, kind of the DNR, um, website of the state of Washington. And, um, you know, they say if you can go somewhere where you can find a backdrop on any of these, um, I guess logging roads, then you can just go you can go shooting and so here we are man this is a cool little area this is where people be out here shooting so uh i'm gonna pause it right here and then i'm gonna get back to you all right welcome unit turning call only bellingham uh investigating a suspicious circumstance 3100 block of racine street Female possibly put forcibly into a black Mercedes SUV or van last thing he found sunset. All right, y'all. So I just want to show you that we are being safe. We have, um, the earmuffs on, the glasses for safety. My son has just loaded um, the 12 gauge shotgun, documenting our journey. We are going to go over here and stand about, stand about uh, maybe 10 yards from that crate over there. If you can see in the back, hold on, let me zoom in. There are some other targets um, on the tree. So this whole area has been used for um, for target practice, right? You can see the stump has been filled up. You see people have been walking all back there. This whole area has just kind of been isolated for shooting. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to let my boy get ready to do his thing. Hold on, I'm going to go on the other side. I get a better view. Shout out to Melissa out there who's just starting her journey. Um, but shout out to GHG Hustle. All right, hold on, y'all. Take your time and aim. That's six. All right, y'all. So the, while shooting, the red dot came off. So we'll we'll focus on that here a bit later. We got a nice little red dot on it. But uh, yeah, we'll work on it. Just learning, just getting everything down, practicing with these firearms. Um, I didn't expect the red dot to fly off like that. So you caught a blooper. But hey, it is what it is. We're enjoying ourselves. All right, he's practicing good. Um, trigger finger control. Fingers off the trigger. Okay, 
Good shot. Good shot. Look at that finger, y'all. My boy is safe out here. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure them hands is back behind that. There you go. All right, now tell us how you feel about your uh, experience shooting that Kel-Tec KS-7 shotgun. It was good, felt nice, a little bit of recoil. All right, all right. But you feel it's something that you can use in home defense? Yes. All right, sounds good, y'all. So we just came out here to, to, um, to do some shooting, um, to practice, um, to let my son get practice um, for home defense. Seemed like he's doing, he's doing good. Um, as always, we have, as always, we have the Taurus G3C. I'm going to go ahead and just let out a small. And that's the end of the show.